Okay, okay so this is your WMF 1100. So I'm just going to show you a few features of the machine for, so you're ready to go. The first one I want to show you is just the cup warmer. Okay, so this is very useful for heating your glasses or your cold ceramic cups up. So the way we use that is we turn it upside down on the thing there and you use the little headphones symbol. So if you press that, you get steam shoot up inside your glass and that then heats your glass nice and warm. If it's not still not hot enough, what you can do is always just chuck it back on. Press the symbol again, as soon as you're happy, you can just press it and it will stop. Okay, so you're nice and hot. Another little tactic for keeping your drinks nice and hot is using the fold out cup tray. So as you, as you fold that out, providing your cup is small enough to fit on there. Okay, because we did an experiment and the, the difference between using the base and using the fold out tray was about three, three degrees difference in the milk. So it's well worth using that. Okay, so then you scroll up the drinks menu till you find a drink that you want. Now we can take drinks away, we can add extra drinks on, so you can see you've got one there just titled the boss, or a double shot cappuccino, etc. So I'm just going to go up, I'm going to pick a mocha. Now, what you can do is, if for whatever reason you press the wrong button or you've decided that enough has come out at any point, whilst the drink's coming out, if you press to stop, okay, that drink will stop as soon as it is able to and then reset, okay, so you don't end up overfilling cups or wasting milk, etc, etc. Now, Another little feature you can use, if you notice during the day maybe there's some milk in the line that you want to clear out or you want to just um, clear the line, what you can do is plug from the top of the milk into the hot water, scroll up to find hot water, press hot water, that will send hot water through the machine, uh, through all the milk parts and just clear it out. Okay, and lastly, just going to show you about emptying the dreg drawer. So what you can do is fold that trip tray away. The dregs go in there. Find the bin. Empty that off. Slide it back in. It asks you if it's empty. It is empty, so click yes. Okay, and then empty the drip tray. So you just pull that out. I always use my left hand to hold the metal grill in place because if you tip it, it's going to fall out. And always go to the left hand side. The reason you go to the left hand side is because the drip tray sensor is actually in this side. So if this bit gets wet, then it might still think that it's full and tell you to empty it again if, that's, if it's prompted you to. Last feature is obviously you have a steam wand here. So if I just remove this plug from the hot water, so if you scroll up so you get steam, this can actually be used as a manual steamer. So you can press on that and you get the steam coming out. So if you want to steam your own milk, as soon as you're happy that you've steamed enough, you just press it to stop. Now this can be disabled if you want to get it disabled so that people don't go using it or burning themselves on accident. That's up to you.